Welcome and let's solve this question on bearing. If your challenge is on bearing, ensure to watch through the end and don't do it alone. Share it with others to learn with you. Now let's read the question together. We are told that three towns A, B, and C are situated so that A, B, distance between A and B, that's what this means, is 60 kilometers. And distance between A and C, that's line A, C, is 100 kilometers. The bearing of B from A is 60 degrees and the bearing of C from A is 290. And this is what we are asked to calculate. Interesting. Now, what you do here is I want to just point some things out. Now, you see that we have 60 degrees and we have 290. When you look at the 60 degrees, you see there are three digits and this one is three digits. And that reminds you of three figure bearing. And for every three figure bearing, you must start it from the knots. And when you start from the knot, you go in a clockwise direction. It's very important. Now, to answer this question, I want us to bring this information out so that we clean some parts to help us to get a better diagram for that question. So let me write this out. So our AB is 60 kilometers. Our AC is 100 kilometers. So we have bearing of Please pardon me, bearing of B from A is 60 degrees. So that I can take that part off to get a bigger diagram. So if you do that, we are going to have Now, what we do first is to show the information. We are told that the bearing of B from A is 60 degrees. Bearing of B. Remember in bearing, the word from matters a lot. It shows you the start point. So what do you do to answer this? Just draw your cardinal. Let's draw our cardinal point. So this is what we have. We can label this. Remember this is the knot. It's very important you show your knot. So what do you do now? Let's do it better. So this is what we have. Now, we want to show the bearing of B from A, from A. That means it started from A. So this place, we are going to label it A. I see what we're doing. Now, the bearing of this B from here, from this place is 60. Now, when you have your card now, this first, this is the first quadrant is 90. From here to here is 90. So if you want to locate 60 degrees, you know you are going to move from here move and then stop somewhere you project it out i hope you are seeing what i'm doing so i'm getting my 60 so here is my 60 degrees and when you stop introduce another card now so i introduce my card now if you like you can use broken line if you like complete it but the interesting thing is that you have to remember to put the knot pull now what do you do this is where I stopped and this is the point of B. So this is the bearing of B from A. I have shown it. And if you go to the question, the distance between A and B is 60 kilometers. So from here to here gives us a distance of 60 kilometers. Me labeling the diagram is very important. So we have been able to state this first one. Now let's go to the second. The question says, and the bearing of C from A, from the same A, from this place A, is 290. Now, remember in your card now, if you draw this, here is 90. If it comes to the second, it's 180. If it moves here, it's 270. And if it enters the fourth one, it is 360. So if it's entering 290, that means it is now in the fourth quadrant. I hope you are seeing what we are doing. So I'm going to move it from here. You move, move, and then enter the fourth quadrant. That's where you locate 290 because it is from A, from this A. So when you stop it here, you now project it out. So if you do that, see what you are going to have. If I project, I'm going to have a line drawn here. Did you see that? So this, the whole of this from here to here is my 290 degrees. 
Did you see that? Now, the next thing is that the distance between, remember, when you stop, you put your, your card now. But the fact is that the AC, this line is 100 kilometers and 100 kilometers should be longer than 60. It's very important. We are not being, we are not measuring, but you have to be, use your common sense to know that 100 should be greater so that it will help you to do it well. So in that case, we are going to project this longer than the first one. So we project it longer than the first one. As much longer as you want, you are free to project. So let me stop it here. I can now introduce my cardinal point. Did you see what I'm doing? Now, this is my point C. So having located point C on this point, remember the whole of this is 290. You are done showing it. So what do you do? You are to join. So how do you join this? In joining this, you have to be careful because you know that this one is above, is higher than this in terms of distance. This one is 100. So if I'm joining it, I'm going to join it from here. It has to be from here. You join. Don't join above this. You join it from here. Then it keep going till you get to where you have your B. Now, how do you place it on B? You cannot, the B has to be on top because this line is longer, is higher than the position of this one. So I'm going to place it here. Did you see that? So this is how I closed my shape. Did you see the diagram we got there? So the question now says we are done working it out. We are asked to calculate the distance between B and C. So this distance is what you want to calculate. How do we calculate it? We need to complete the diagram with angles. You know that from here to here is 290. So if you want to get the remaining one, we said that from here moving to this place is 360. So if it enters the fourth quadrant with 290, to get the tiny one that is remaining here, what do you do? Quickly do 360 minus 290. And when you subtract this, it gives you 70 degrees. So the angle that is here is 70, so that it will make it up to 360. So with this, we can now get the angle at this point A. So to get it, you are going to add these two together. And when you add 70 and 60, it gives you one third. So the angle here is 130 degrees. Did you see that? So that has given us an idea. Let's bring out the triangle out. So to do that, we are going to now have this is the diagram we have. Let's bring it out. So we have this. And here is 60 kilometers. Here is B. Here is A. Angle here is 130 degrees. Here is C. And here is 100 kilometers. So to find BC, what rule do you apply? This is your triangle. It's a complete triangle. So to, to get the BC, the distance you use, you see that you have an angle formed in between two sides. So in this case, you are going to use your cosine rule to find the length of BC. So using our cosine rule, please remember the question. We are asked to find the bearing of B from C. That's the second one. So we can clean this off. So to answer this BC using our cosine rule, our BC squared is equal to square this, you have 100 squared plus square this, you have 60 squared minus use two to multiply these two. So we are going to have 2 multiplies 60 multiplies 100, then multiply cos of 130. Did you see that? So this is what we have. So quickly queue it into your calculator. What do you have? We now have line BC squared is equal to Q this 100 squared will give us 10,000. Plus, this will give us 3,600. Multiply this, we have. So let's bring down the subtraction sign. So if we multiply this from our end, I have negative 7,713.4513. Now what you do is we add this and then add this. Remember, this will make this to be positive. So add all them together. 
and for you to have watched through this point it shows what to do interesting don't forget to like this video share it with your friends so that others will learn with you and if you are still new hit that subscription button if you are a returning viewer wow thank you for choosing to learn through us so let's keep solving let's work it out here so we're going to have our bc squared is equal to add this together we have 21,313.4513. So to get our BC, we take the square root of both sides. So we are going to have BC will be square root of 21,000. So let's bring it down. So our BC is equal to square root of 21,313. 0.4513. Remember, we are taking the positive and negative square. Whenever you are finding square root, you take the positive and negative. But in this case, since you are working with sides, we are only going to concentrate on the positive square root because the side cannot be negative. So let's get the square root of this. So we have our BC will be square root this. We have 145.99. 1, 3. So this is the approximated value of our B. So let's write it here. Our BC is 145.9913 kilometers. Now the next thing is to find the bearing of our B from C. Let's do that together to have. So the second one, bearing of B from C. Remember, from C means start it from C. So we're going to start from here to read the angular movement. So remember, it's three figure bearing. You are going to move from the north of C towards the line that is going to be. Did you see the line that is going to be? You stop. So what you are looking for is this angle you have here. And how do you find it? If you look at this place, you will observe that this is the first quadrant and it's already 90 degrees. Did you see it? So what you are looking for to make up to this angle theta is this tiny one here, this tiny angle here. Did you see the tiny one? So that's the one we are looking for. Let me bring this out. So we are looking for the tiny angle. If you project this, you see there's a tiny angle here. So that tiny angle is what you want to find. So then when you find it, you add it to this 90. It gives you the bearing of B from C. Now, how do you find it? What you do now is we are going to get this angle inside here. It will help us to get what we are looking for. So to find this angle, what do you do? You observe that. So this is where you place your angle. Now, when you have this, remember this place is 145.9913 kilometers. What rule do you apply now? You are looking for this angle and you are given the side and you already have this side and the corresponding angle. You see the opposite angle. So when you have such, whenever you have a, a side and the side angle opposite to that given side, you are free to use your sine rule. So for here, we are going to use our sine rule. So we're going to have this uh, side 60 over the sine of the angle we are looking for is equal to this side. 145.9913 over the sine of this angle we already have, sine of 130 degrees. So applying it, working it out, this can multiply this, and this we multiply this. So let's take it to this part to have. So this gives us 60 we multiply, and this multiply. So we have 145.9913 sine theta is equal to, multiply this quickly, we have, so we have 45.9627. To get your sine theta, remember this is multiplying, you are going to divide by 145.9913, you also divide also here, 145.913. So this we take off this, and we are going to have sine theta, is equal to divide this we have 0 0.3148 to get this angle take the arc sine of this value so we have theta is arc sine 
of 0 0.3148. When you do that, we have. So let's take it to this part. Theta is equal to. Arc sine of this gave us 18.35. So that's what we have. And if this gives us the value of theta, that means this angle is 18.35 degrees. So what do you do now? Now remember that if you want to find the remaining angle here, remember this angle here is what the shape it has formed. What shape does it form? It forms a Z shape. And whenever you are working with bearing, you always remember that when you have this shape, it is forming alternate angle. The angle you have here is equal to what you have. We say they are alternating. So what do you do? If here is 70, it means that this angle here is also 70. And you know that it is the total. Just watch it. Just watch from what you have there. This place is what we want to find, this tiny one. And some part of it we have gotten as 18.35 degrees. So if this place is also 70, what do you do to get this one we are looking for? This place we are looking for. You know that this has formed a, it is angle 90. So we are going to add these two together and take it away from 90 to give us this one we are looking for. So if you do that, we are going to now have this angle, we can say it's angle alpha. So we have alpha is 90 minus 70 plus 18.35. So when you subtract this, we have alpha is subtract, you have 1.65 degrees. So the angle here, this tiny one we are looking for is 1.65 degrees. So to find the bearing, if we have found this as this value, remember the bearing is from this to this particular place, including that angle alpha. So to get the bearing, we have bearing of B from C is equal to 90 degrees plus the tiny alpha angle we got, which is 1.65. And when you add this, it gives you 91.65 degrees. And that is our answer. And I hope you really learned something today. Don't forget to like this video, share it with others to learn more. If this helps you, let's know how much. And I'll also be curious to see your own method in the comment. If you're still new, hit that subscription button. We have a lot for you. See you in my next class. Bye-bye.